A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time there was a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years, from when she was a virgin, and then as a widow, until she was eighty-four. She did not depart from the temple, worshipping with fasting and praying night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of Him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord! My dear sisters and brothers, today's gospel introduces us a rare figure in the gospel of Luke, Anna the prophetess. She is presented in the gospel as a person who confirms the arrival of the Messiah. The gospel speaks of her as a devout woman who never departed from the temple where she was worshipping, praying and fasting day and night all her life long. Prophetess Anna was able to recognize in baby Jesus the Messiah for whom they were all waiting. She was inspired to speak to people about him. She thanked God for this marvelous moment of grace. It was in her union with God in prayer that prophetess Anna was able to identify baby Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ of God. It is when we pray that we come in contact with God more than any other time. When we pray, we experience His presence, His power, and we experience our union with God. God reveals Himself and His plans with us in moments of prayer. Like Anna, we are able to identify God's presence in ourselves and in others. We become the tabernacles of God's dwelling. And like her, we are able to thank God for all his marvelous blessings. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for this day, this hour, this moment, and for all your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for your Son, who came to redeem us and bring us salvation and freedom. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, who guides us, sanctifies us, inspires us to pray. We also, Lord, ask you to bless us with your power, with your joy, 
with your peace and with your freedom we pray for all men and women who in their old age are forced to live in aged homes separated from their children bless them lord and be with them so that they experience the joy and peace and comfort of your presence in the evening of their life amen